At the end of the day, we don't really push organics on anyone. We want everybody to just come in and have great beer and hopefully through that pass of tasting, they realize that there's some benefit to it. Portlanders have craft beer flowing through their veins. Once you enjoy your first full pint of craft beer, there's no turning back. Cheers to Portland, yeah, right? Cheers to Portland. Jeez, we're lucky. <laughs> 100 years ago, everything was organic, and 100 years from now, everything will be organic. So we're just at the peak of this industrial farming animal that is really, truly unsustainable. We get it. We're just trying to lead by example. So we're an OP, an organic processor, which means that we take the organic malt, and the organic hops and make beer in a very traditional way and we don't screw it up along the way. We don't contaminate it and uh, that, that integrity is seen through from grain to glass. Farmers are the biggest stewards of the environment. Sustainability is part of their uh, vernacular, right? They get it and they're really excited to employ these organic principles and uh, apply them to the conventional side as well. So as we give them confidence in organics, the conventionals benefit from reduced pesticide and fertilizer usage as well. So we kind of see it as a organics are the beginning of a rising tide. So what we're brewing today is Rise Up Red. Good amount of, of our base malt, which is just organic two row. Um, we have a pretty heavy charge of various crystal malts, um, a little bit of black malt in there to give it some color, and then a nice big hop charge at 15 minutes, and then a big huge whirlpool charge also to drive aroma. As the steam comes off the word, it has to go somewhere. We have a fan in the stack to draw the steam up. So I'm gonna start the pump and send wort through to the fermenter. About a third to a quarter of, of what we produce actually gets sold just in our four walls. So quite a bit gets consumed right here on site. All of our package goes out as either bottles or cans, and we just recently went the, the way of cans. We really dig the fact that it's uh, not gonna allow UV penetration. It's also got a better headspace uh, air and DO quality to it. And uh, we really love the fact that it mitigates uh, carbon impact. It really is a lighter vessel and you can get more beer on the truck. And it's a true pint in a container. No matter where you go, you're taking a bit of the pub with you. So a 16 ounce can is, is a proper pour. The inspiration for this building was taking this old 1949 tractor showroom, shoving a 20 barrel brewery in the basement and uh, putting a beautiful 300 seat state of the art brew pub upstairs. I was the contractor on this job. My dad was architect, so it was very close to our hearts. We touched everything in the building. Very energy efficient in terms of uh, the way in which we constructed it. We kind of broke down this project in a sustainable construction, sustainable operation. And so uh, the way in which we source uh, ingredients for the beer and uh, everything we serve here is, is thoughtful and hopefully uh, local and organic. Our growth plan is as aggressive as organic farming will allow. So we're investing in a supply stream that can grow incrementally and then uh, we just want to be the brewery that is an inch wide and a mile deep in their backyard. There's no more relevant place for you to sell beer and there's no more uh, profitable place for you to sell beer than as close to home as possible. So I would love to be the biggest organic producer in the country but, you know, I think it's probably more important to be the best and most responsible organic producer in the country. You know, there was an emerging trend towards organics. I think they've kind of disappeared. You know, as others fall away from the organics, we'll continue to, to push towards it. There are a lot of options out there. We just want to be the one for the people who get it and want to vote for sustainability by paying an extra quarter a pint.